staying in the world of education, Alabama public school systems are about to receive another boost thanks to CARES Act funding. But how will local school systems use the new stimulus check? Allison O'Connor joins us live in the studio. Allison, which school system did you talk to today? Paige, I talked to Ozark City Schools, and they are very grateful and excited for this new stimulus check to come in, as they plan to use it for big ticket items like air quality assur assurance and closing the learning gap. Here's what Superintendent Dr. Rick McInturf had to say about OCS moving forward. Is is really quite comforting to know that we we have the support of the state Department of Education and all the way down through the governor's office. Superintendent McInturf and the Ozark City School community are feeling extremely grateful and blessed for the second round of COVID CARES relief funding. Although the amount of this round is still unknown, the first round of funding in total was two hundred seventeen million dollars statewide. McInturf anticipates this round will be larger than the last, with the funding going towards two main focuses. Uh, the first will be. Related to air quality, uh, that might be air conditioning systems or additions to current air conditioning systems uh, to improve indoor air quality. So that's the UV lighting and, and, and those kinds of things. The other and, and the, the majority of the funds will go toward reducing the learning gap. McInturf spoke to how many students have seen a drop in grades or learning ability due to remote learning and not being in the classroom with a teacher. But the superintendent looks forward to the different ways they will be able to help students that may have fallen behind. So now we're beginning to look at uh, summer school programs, extended school year programs, after school tutoring programs, everything we can think of to, to pick these pieces up and try to get back, get, get back to level again. The Ozark City School Board will be holding a special board meeting on Thursday evening to speak more on the funding and school scheduling for the upcoming weeks. Dr. McInturf hopes to finish out his term as superintendent on a good note, as this is his last year before retirement. Back to you, Paige.